Hey y'all, sorry the video is so long, but as you can imagine, it's extremely important and everything in there is necessary to cover. I have a call to action because this impacts our entire community and we need to come together as a community because now is the time. So there's that. And then I need your input and your questions in the comments section moving forward. So I apologize that it's long, did the best I could, but I need your input. Please watch the whole thing. Appreciate you. Love you. Here we go. Hey, beautiful people. It's the first nice day of spring. Oh my God. <laughs> it's so great to be outside. So let's talk about psyched wellness. So a lot of y'all have been writing to me. I've known about them for a while now, and I've been trying to do some recon and some investigating and reaching out, you know, that kind of thing before I actually made a public statement about it. And so many of you are writing. I was like, I really need to get on this so that I can go on and, and talk about it. So I reached out, we had a Zoom meeting and I spoke with the CEO and the chief operating officer and one of their advisors. And I wanna to report to you what the company is doing, my take on all of it. Many of you have different ideas that you're expecting of me and that you think I'm gonna say. My allegiance is not to you. My allegiance is to the mushroom first because without that mushroom these years of my life wouldn't exist and this channel wouldn't exist so i devoted my life to the mushroom the mushroom voice is what has pushed me to do everything it's why this channel is here so anything that i think and feel and do and believe and know and sense is filtered through that first and foremost if you can't handle that, then you don't need to stay here. You need to go on, go, unsubscribe, be on your way. My second alliance is to myself. And I will quit a job before I will do something that crosses my ethics or my morals or my, my boundaries. I leave relationships, I end friendships. I am telling you this because I'm not gonna do what you say because you think this is how I should behave so that I can appease my viewers so that I can keep my viewership up. Because I want you to understand that that's not where my allegiance is. I do what the mushroom needs me to do, and then I follow my own inner voice. Moving forward, you're gonna trust me or you're not gonna trust me. What I need you to do is trust me because the thing that I hold dearest is honesty. And I will be nothing if I can't be honest. So now that we have all that out of the way, here's what you need to know about the mushroom voice, what the mushroom wants. And that is the mushroom wanted from the very beginning of this for me to get the word out about what an amazing medicine this is. This mushroom wants as many humans using it as possible, right? When I first joined this community, the gatekeeping was so severe, I got hazed and it was shitty and it was mean. I don't wanna behave that way. So I am not going to suddenly become the self-righteous gatekeeper because a company wants to start making a product with muscimol and selling it. There are already a lot of companies doing that. The only difference is this company has a lot of money, but they're doing something very different that I think is what's causing everyone to be alarmed. And I'm gonna tell you why it's actually a good thing. So do you remember me telling you from the very beginning of this channel that I wanted more science to be done? I wanted scientists to, sh to normalize this the same way that they did with St. John's wort, because now doctors can prescribe St. John's wort if they want to. A doctor can't prescribe something in good conscience, and most won't, if it hasn't been tested by the FDA and then normalized to a standard so that you can say this many micro units or this many milligrams equals this much of the active ingredient in it. And at this point, that hasn't been done for this mushroom, which is why I have to be careful when I make statements about it. But if we could get more science done on muscimol, get enough research done so that we can say definitively, look, this can be used to treat this. 
then we are going to propel ourselves light years forward in being able to bring people to this mushroom and say, look, you can treat epilepsy with this. You can treat migraines with this. You can treat anxiety with this. You can treat panic with this. There's a long list of things we, we believe but we can't just run around making those claims. And if you'll notice where muscamol is sold and products are sold, they can't say anything about what it's used for. They could be shut down. And I can't do much on this channel because of that. And I have been asking for this normalization of it, for science to do this work so that it makes life easier for all of us for a long time. And if you miss that, you miss something, enter psyched wellness. And that's exactly what they are setting out to do. I have been wanting this. The only other way that this could happen is public universities that are research schools, that they get a grant and they do this in the interest of science and moving this forward. But what's going to happen as soon as they do? As soon as they do that, corporations are going to start using it and getting FDA approval, and, and this is going to happen. This was going to happen. This is not, you know, the age of dinosaurs. This is the age of today and technology and word spreading fast about this mushroom. Things are changing in the mushroom community overall, and this is for the betterment of our species. So, what's the problem then is that it's an evil corporation or the scarcity of the product, right? Maybe some of you are afraid that they're not going to treat the mushroom with reverence and that it's just going to be a commodity and that that's wrong. I hear you, I hear you, I hear you. Let's talk about all of those things. So first is the scarcity of the product is an actual thing. And that's actually the number one concern I had that I brought to the table. And we talked about that. And then secondly is going to be the fact that <clears throat> it just being a product and they're only going to be concerned about their bottom line. And it's going to be a sterile kind of thing. And it's going to be unceremonious. I can't tell you that it isn't. And it's going to depend on each individual person who's handling it. But that's true even if you buy it from a vendor online. They may be harvesting it with the same love that I do. Or they may just be out for a paycheck and they're scrambling and rounding them all up, drying them, package them, and whatever. You don't know. I have known many shaman that shouldn't have been shaman. I've known a couple of people in corporations that cared very much about the work they were doing and were very passionate about helping humanity. I don't know the people that are putting their hands on these mushrooms that are involved in the making of this stuff. So I can't speak to them, but I'm just saying, just because they work for a corporation doesn't mean they are inherently evil. It's going to depend on each individual person. But when I ran this past the mushroom, this is what I got back. Look, you need to trust that this medicine getting into the hands of the people who need it is the goal, no matter how that happens. It happened through love and grace and milk and stirring and heat and as a tea in one culture. And in another culture, they were gathered and only a few people were allowed to even touch it. And it was gate kept and cooked over a fire and smoked. And that's how this culture did it today. This is how this culture is doing it. And we'll talk about how they're doing it. And they're going to be mass producing it in packaging. Individual hands won't be able to touch the product. They have to keep it sterile because of the FDA. I don't think the mushroom gives two shits whether your hands are touching it or not and whether it's sterile or not. We are not gonna be making it in a lab. We're making it from the mushroom and they're pulling the muscamol out and isolating it from the mushroom and then giving it to the people that need it. Why is that any less okay than if I convert, 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 so that all I've got is muscamol for a recreational dose? However it gets extracted from the mushroom, the mushroom now at that point is usually put back outside or thrown away. 
and it's the active ingredients that we do something with. We convert it, or we use some of the front-loaded ibotenic acid. It's exactly what they're gonna be doing, converting it to muscimol, normalizing it into a tincture and selling it, and they will be able to make claims about it. I don't have a problem with how they're doing that because the mushroom for me is telling me that they don't have a problem with it, that they're, this is part of the plan and we need to let go of it and traditional uses. And this is how the world works now. We have the ability to do things faster. We have electricity, we have machinery, we can get this stuff out to the masses. And I don't care if it makes you mad when I know many people that don't live anywhere near this mushroom or who are afraid to do it themselves and are freaking out, having panic attacks and suicidal, suddenly get their hands on this product and it saves their life. Where is your allegiance? Because that's where mine is. So what this company is doing, getting FDA approval, so that means clinical trials, which they are currently in in India, and so uh, what I talked to them about was the very first thing was scarcity of the product. And so I was really happy to learn that they knew of that going in. Clearly that was the number one topic of discussion because why would you make a product that is a non, it's a renewable resource, but only barely <laughs> and only very slowly and you can't grow it. So they said that they have no intentions of just using it up all over the world and creating a scarcity or destroying the biodiversity around the world. And you know why I believe that? Because it's their company and their job is to stay in business. So if they start ramping up production to a point where they're taking, sucking them all up from the globe, they will, they'll crash them. They will go extinct and their company will go out of business. It is in their best interest to maintain the natural biodiversity of this mushroom. And I mean, it's kind of impossible to reach to every single place that things, these things grow. However, however, it remains to be seen. I'm going to watch. I'm going to be paying attention. You're going to be paying attention. They said, look, we, we don't intend to do that. We don't want to do that. We don't want to, to hurt the community. We want to stay in good standing with the community. That's another thing I want to talk to you about. However, that's a CEO. And so, I'm okay, I'm glad that he said that, but it's kind of his job to say that. So we are going to pay attention, right? Try to hold them accountable, make sure that, that they keep their word. However, we are not powerless here. And what we need to be doing and what I'm going to call to action for all of you to do is this fall, you have got to harvest and make a slurry and take those spores somewhere else where they don't grow, where you've done your due diligence and your research and you believe there's a decent chance that they would grow there, know where your trees are that they will grow and pour your slurry somewhere else, many places if you can. But this is a call to action not only to save it in case this company goes rogue, but even if they are very good about what they do and they take very careful attention to protect this mushroom and leave plenty for everyone, it's still not going to change the fact that once they make it known what they've done and who they are and what they're selling and word gets out, more and more people are going to know about what this mushroom can do for them which was the goal all along. And many of them are gonna to wanna to harvest it and do it themselves like we do. And we want there to be plenty and the mushroom wants to be prolific. They want you to take their spores and spread them. So time now is important. This is important and this is exciting and it's celebratory and it is part of the goal of this mushroom I am happy. This is a milestone. So let's all step up and do this for this mushroom and for all of the people that don't know about it yet that are hurting 
that are gonna be coming on board, finding this channel, becoming part of our community and wanting to harvest. Let's do it for the mushroom that has given so much to us. The next thing we talked about is I asked them to also help with the slurrying. I want them to become part of this community. Don't wall themselves off, that we welcome them, that I'm not gonna be part of any gatekeeping, that we welcome them to the community, that we wanna teach them about the mushroom at the other sides of the mushroom, who we are. Invite them to your festivals and to your celebrations. I'm gonna invite them to come harvesting with me. I think that would be freaking awesome. I believe the day of making everyone your enemy, if they don't think exactly like you or they don't live their lives the way you think they should, that those days are over. It's not who I am, it's not how my heart is. And we talked about the future and our grandchildren and ushering in a new age where corporations, nonprofits, shaman, YouTubers and content creators, everybody, people that harvest it, people that make tinctures at home, people that sell them like me, that all of us work cooperatively for the betterment of the mushroom and the betterment of the people. Until I'm proven otherwise, this is how I move forward. I treat everyone with acceptance and love until they show me that I can't. Then I set boundaries and I walk away. So I'm gonna ask you to embrace them and welcome them into this community and don't be gatekeeping and don't be assholes. In that vein, I invited Jeff, the CEO, to come on this channel and he accepted. So we are working on getting a good date together and I'll be interviewing him and I need you to write in the comments questions that you want me to ask of him. So I'll wait to gather answers from you about what you would like for me to ask him. And then he's limited right now on the things he can actually say because of the FDA and statements he can make. So he'll be limited. But once they get FDA approval, he'll have a lot of better things that he can say that won't be breaking the law or getting his company in trouble. And I'll have him back on after that too. I asked him to uh, work with me on the channel and they were like, yeah, absolutely. We wanna support the channel. So if they actually start sponsoring some videos on this channel, you need to know that doesn't mean they bought me any more than it means any other sponsor bought me. I owe them what it says in the contract. And the contract will say either review the product and no guarantee of a positive statement. That's one way of doing a sponsorship. Another way of doing a sponsorship is we want you to cover these talking points and just put that in front of the camera and that we're paying for a commercial, essentially. In which case, that's exactly what I'll do. And when that commercial is over, they don't own me anymore, and I don't owe them an allegiance or positive statements in any other video. I owe them the commercial. You see what I'm saying? This is corporation, blah, blah, blah. This is their product. It comes in this, this, and this. This is the website. This is what it's good for. This is how you can treat blah, blah, blah. Today on the channel, Let's talk about blah, 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 and then I move on with whatever that video is about. I completed my contractual agreement. That doesn't mean they own me. I want them to pay for me to take trips to other countries where they are harvesting them and getting them from and interview those people and pour more slurries there to do outreach for the mushroom and the community. Like I am going to be asking things of this company that's gonna better the mushroom it's gonna help us see what's going on. It'll help them be more transparent. I'll get to bring to you where a lot of your mushrooms you're buying from, from vendors are coming from. So I have a vision for this relationship. If there's other things you'd like to see me do with this company or that you would like to ask of this company, let me know in the comments section. I think that's everything that we covered. It was pretty short and sweet, you know? The Etsy store sold out this time in 24 hours. I got everything packed up and mailed and I restocked it just like with a few things one more time and it already sold out again. So I'm about to run to the post office. If you want to get items at this point, there is no just checking. They go quickly. So what you'll need to do is go to Etsy. You have to favorite the store. You have to go to settings. Find in there where notifications are allow email notifications 
when I stock the store. Then you're going to have to freaking check your email. Those are the steps you need to take. I'll do my best to announce it ahead of time. So make sure you're watching the videos for those announcements. If you don't agree with anything I've said and you think I'm selling out, then you need to leave. We're not going to entertain gatekeeping and negativity, and I'm not going to entertain getting attacked because of my personal choices for my life, my channel, and doing right with my vision with this mushroom. I will change my mind if I see there's a reason for me to change my mind about the statements that I'm making today, and you're going to have to trust me on that. I love you, beautiful people!